He left a note, yeah. And, and when did that come to light? When did you first see that note? About three months ago. Why so? Because why? I didn't know it was there, and I had sent, because I need my mum to prove this, and like she, like I gotta get to my mum, she's one of the strongest women I know, um, myself and my wife, and she said, look, I, she, she knew there was a note there, and she searched, and she searched, and about a year afterwards, she found it balled up and thrown down behind the back of a wardrobe. And she took it, and she tucked it into her wedding ring box. And she said, like, she wasn't going to show it to us because we were just trying to get getting back on our feet then. And she knew there'd be a time when we, she'd want to bring it back to us, or show it to us. But she didn't think it was the time. And then, like, it's, how do you find the right time for that kind of thing? But that was the time three months ago? Yeah, yeah. And how was uh, it for you to read such a thing? It was difficult. I mean, one, his, his writing was terrible. <laughs> but, like, it, was, it was quite emotional and it, it scrunched up so it was kind of like you know you need to get a bit of paper and you roll it up it's, I it's hard but like it was, I read it and I was just like shaking my head reading it I mean he like he thought he was ugly he thought he was stupid mm -hmm. and it's, it's just that teenage impulse yeah. that you think I mean like I remember reading about some kid who decided he's going to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge, and he did. And he said, as he jumped over the railing, he had this moment of clarity, wishing he could take it back. You know, and I think it was just an impulse for that reason, and he, he couldn't take it back. What a horrible shame. Yeah. What a shame. Um, you, we, people watching tonight will say, there's Mike Ross, you know, we, we, we sat down on a Saturday afternoon to watch him in... London or Paris or wherever you might have played and, and they won't have known that side of your story no. because it, it was private but you, yeah. you feel it's time to talk about it now. Well, I, I, I think you know if, if people hear the story it might help someone who's, who's kind of yeah, contemplating, I think it will. contemplating that yeah. because like, I remember reading about this program they have for gay youth in America called It Gets Better mm -hmm. and I think that's a powerful message that whatever you're going through right now whatever's happening you know, things will get better. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's not, where you're at now is not going to be the be all and end all of mm. your life. Mm. Uh, but if you if you take that step, if you make that choice, then that's it. Mm. You know, that there's no that's that's nothing coming back. There's that. a way out. Yeah, you just need to find the right yeah. Uh, direction. Yeah, and especially you know, teenage years are tough for a lot of people, and you're just cutting off all that potential. I mean, I've I've like. Like my mom has six grandchildren now. Yeah. Well, there could be eight. There could be ten. You, yeah. And think you, about you these think things. Think about you. you know. Um,